In this video, we take a brief look at system monitoring, a subject which can be divided into three categories, log files, file systems, and RISCI files. First, log files. We've already discussed the content of a number of log files in another video. But if log files aren't working, you need to make sure the appropriate daemons are running, specifically syslogd and klogd, something which is controlled by the syslog script in the etc slash ditd directory. Let's see if my syslog and klog daemons are running. psaox lists all running processes, and I use the grep command to see if syslog is running, and there it is. The syslog daemon is running. as well as the k-log daemon. Next is file systems. It's important to make sure file systems don't get overloaded. If a file system such as that associated with a home or temp directory is full, users can't start the X window. File systems such as home are also important if they get full your users won't be able to save their files. And then there are the RISCI files. Primary problem files relate to those with SUID and SGID permissions. Other RISCI files are hidden files. Hidden files are those with a dot in front. One way to manage RISCI files is to find which of those have SUID and SGID permissions. For example, you could find those files with SUID permissions on your system with the command noted here. Find forward slash, in other words, starting at the top level directory, with 4,000 permissions. In other words, SUID permissions. And it takes a while to look through your system for said files. There's also system activity reports which requires the sysstat package, something which isn't installed by default. This r-a command lists system activity reports log sa directory and the numbers are associated with the date. For example, if you're looking for the system activity report for the last month on the 13th, you're looking for the sa13 file in the noted directory. 